Are you a pipe welder, fitter, or helper, and you'd like to learn some tricks to make layout a little easier, a little quicker? I got a couple hacks. Um, I shot this video once before, but there was uh, some discrepancies in it that uh, I'll address that at the end of this video. Um, but anyway, I, I, a couple tricks that I've learned. I'm Darren with Off the Hook Design and Fab. And I'm gonna show you how to lay out 45s the way I would do it. Um, I'm sure there's other ways to do it. But say, for instance, you have a run going along like this, you need to do two 45 degree elbows. So you need to go, for instance, from this I-beam right here to this one up here. So you wanna know how long is this piece of pipe? How do you lay that out? So theoretical intersection of this elbow center line of this pipe to this one up here, center line of pipe to center line of pipe. So that's the same, as long as the pipe's the same size on both ends, from the top of the beam here to the top of the beam here, that is gonna be your rise. So back in trig days in school, you had this formula, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So you can add these two together, take the square root, and that's gonna give you this diagonal distance. Now, a quick little hack, shortcut, if it's 245s, this is a right triangle, any leg here, A or B, whatever distance this rise is, times one, 0.414, that'll give you the diagonal distance from right there to right there. So from center line to center line, if you know the rise, multiply it by 1.414, that will give you the diagonal distance. Now you have to figure out your takeoff, which according to this AMSE B16.9 or the blue book, whatever you want to call it, these, these standard codes that these th things are made to, um, they call it a B dimension on a 45. So it's a theoretical center line of this pipe and this pipe where they would intersect. So this point right here, this takeoff. Now here's the, here's a trick. Now there are some exceptions to this. So say it's, it's, this is 45. Let's say it's an eight inch 45. So you divide that in half, we're gonna do four iterations. So you divide it in half and it's four, divide that by half, it's two, divide that in half is one. So to take your, get your takeoff for this 45, if it's eight inch, you're gonna add the fourth iteration with the second one, so that four plus one is five, okay? So now let's do a six inch. Divide it in half, it's three. Divide that in half, it's one and a half. Divide that in half, it's three quarter. So you're gonna add the fourth iteration with the second one. So three quarter plus three, three and three quarter. That's the takeoff for a six inch 45. So let's do a four inch. Four inch, four iterations. So divide it in half, two, divide it in half, one, divide it in half, half. Okay, so you're gonna take the fourth iteration, add it to the second, two and a half. That's your takeoff for a four inch 45. So let's do, say, a 10 inch. Divide it in half, it's five, divide that in half, it's two and a half. Divide that in half, it's one and a quarter. One and a quarter plus five, six and a quarter. That is this dimension right here, from center line to the end. So now you know your takeoffs for your 45, subtract out your weld gap, and then you know what to cut your diagonal length at. So that's a quick little hack, makes it easier. Another way to do it, now if I lay this out on my CAD system, you know, this radius on most elbows, on a, a long radius, you know, standard elbow, this, from this surface right here to center line is one and a half times the nominal pipe size. So three inch would be four and a half, four inch would be six inches and so forth. So if you multiply that nominal pipe size, if I lay it on a CAD, it comes out to 0.621, which 621 is really dang close to 625, which is five eighths. So 5 eighths times the nominal pipe size will give you your takeoff on most things. Now, here's the exceptions. What I found is three and a half inch and under, these standards that they make to these two are not exactly on some of these pipes, like three and a half inch and under, 22 inch, 30 inch, 42 inch, they're a little off. They're like, like look at this. Here's a great example. So if I stack these two 45s together and I get them even, 
See how they don't line up? Look at that, how much taller that is right there. So this, this formula or this 5 eighths formula works on everything pretty much four inch through 20 inch. It's dead on. So you have to be careful like three inch and two inch, it's, they add an eighth to that. This is an eighth inch longer. The way that they, I talked to the manufacturers, they say they make these on the same mandrel. So it's the same arc and radius, but they machine them to a true 45, but they're a little bit longer. So they're a little bit, the codes are a little wonky on some of these pipe sizes, but it, it's good for everything from four inch through 20 inch. So um, if you get into these sizes, 22, 30, 42, three and a half and under, things are a little bit off. But anyway, um, that's a quick little hack. Um, to help make layout a little quicker and easier and I hope that's helpful if you want some more layout videos like this you can subscribe to my email list at offthehookdesignandfab.com and we'll be sending out some more layout tips and tricks on rolling offsets and all kinds of things that make life a little easier for you so hopefully that helps have a great day